Hello and welcome to the Get Response List Building Program, Get Your First 10,000 Subscribers. My name is Abby Hartz, your List Building Coach. And for this tutorial, we're going to be talking about how to customize your confirmation and welcome emails. In the last tutorial, we set up the opt-in box, and so what we're going to do now is customize the email that is sent to your new subscribers after they have entered their email address. And so right here, this is the website that we're working on. We're going to customize the email that gets sent after they click Get Updates. And then we're also going to create a welcome email for them so that they can be better introduced to more contacts on your website. Let's get started. I'm logged into my GetResponse account, as you can see. I'm in the right campaign, and I'm going to click on this gear button. I'm going to go down to permissions, and here we are. The default settings are good, the HTML is just fine, and I've got the right email address here. If the correct email address is not showing up, you can go into the change reply to, and there are tutorials on the get response help section that will help you to be able to do that. And here you will see that I've already entered a custom subject and gotten it approved. It took less than two hours to get that approved. You have to submit it to get response and it's already approved as you can see here. But if you were setting up a new campaign, you would just have to get a new email subject line approved and those usually take less than two hours. But it's a bit of a different thing. So you can see also there are predefined ones available as well. If you're really in a rush and you don't wanna to wait to get your own custom subject line approved, I like this action required, confirm your subscription. But as you can see, there's dozens of them. And if you've been doing personalization, which is great, you can absolutely do that. And actually, I think I might recommend that. Here, let's switch and go with that. I think that's actually really nice. And so what I want to do here is customize the confirmation message. And this is just the body of the email that they get. It's the big blue button that they need to click on to confirm their subscription. So I love the big blue button, that's great. These are the four lines of copy that I wrote just to customize the email. And two lines is fine too. You don't need to go on a lot, but it's good to inject a little bit of your personality and kind of get the world view of your site into the welcome email. Just to act like you know you are a real person and that this, this isn't just a you know stale, empty email list. Down here is the other place where you can customize. And as you can see, I basically just put in a footer. So very simple. Click Save, okay, and it says Settings Updated. And so, now we're gonna go into the confirmation page. I would not recommend that you do Host It by Get Response. What we want to do is click on Custom URL. We want to be sending people to this page, and this is the page where they will download their lead magnet. I'm gonna paste that in right now. And so this is what the final confirmation page looks like. And it just says that you're confirmed. Thanks for subscribing. Here's your lead magnet and here's how to download it. And so as you can see, that's just a simple PDF link and that's how they're going to get their lead magnet as promised. Now we're actually, from after doing all of that, we're done with the whole opt-in process. You've created a very elegant, friendly, brand uh, consistent opt-in process that will give your new subscribers a very nice impression of your website from the beginning. Now we're going to take the extra step here and we're going to actually create a welcome email. Welcome emails are very powerful. They get higher click-through rates, open rates, engagement rates than any other email you'll probably send ever. And so it's a very good idea to make the most of them and send at least one welcome email from after someone subscribes. So that's what we're gonna do now. I'm gonna go into messages and then create autoresponder. I have already created an autoresponder for this list actually, but I want to walk you through so you can see how it would work. So this is the create autoresponder dashboard. And these are all of the different kinds of the autoresponders that you can create. They're all attached to specific actions, like if someone opened an email, you could create a brand new autoresponder for that. Someone say, bought a product, you can create an autoresponder for that. For right now, we just want the just subscribed email. And so we've got a very simple, if, subscribed, if subscriber signs up to, there's the proper campaign, which is very good. We want to send this message immediately. You could delay it if you wanted to, but I want to send it immediately. And I want it to go out on all days of the week. And here I can either choose a message that I've already created, or I can create a new email. But right now I'm going to create a new email, just to show you what that might look like. 
So you've got the message name here. Note that it will not be seen by your subscribers. So let's put in a name that we will remember a year from now. That's always how I define well-named elements in these sort of systems. And then a subject line. I think I would put welcome, and there we go. It's going to pre-fill it for me, which is really nice, because I want welcome to start a consignment store's weekly updates. Note the weekly updates. That's also in my opt-in box. And so to say weekly updates makes things consistent. And we do want to track click-throughs right now. I'm going to turn also on Google Analytics. We have not set that up yet, but we will doing that, be doing that in upcoming tutorials. So let's start tracking even now. That way you don't have to go back and do it later, which saves work, and that is always a good thing. So I'm going to click Next Step, and then I'm going to be presented with all of these pre-designed templates. They're lovely. There are hundreds of them. And what I'm looking for is something that's really simple, but also that has these three columns. So I'm also going to click on, and what I want here is a big, beautiful, splashy image, because people do like those. I want room for a one-column welcome message, and then I'm going to also outline a button so that they can go through and actually download the lead magnet again. Sometimes things happen and people may not get their lead magnets. So that's one reason why I'm putting the lead magnet in right now. A second reason is I suspect that a lot of us with new sites may not have two or three additional reports sitting around that we can offer them. So right now I'm just going to keep this with the welcome email. If you did have a second report or an ebook, or if you wanted to send them a survey, you could put that in as well. But for right now, we're just going to leave it as the lead magnet that we wrote earlier. And here is a really great opportunity to put in your three most popular articles or your three most favorite articles if you're a brand new site. So I'm going to have the image that's associated with each of those articles, the title of the first sentence of the article, and then a link to go with it. And that'll do. That's how I would customize this. I'm going to go back out now and go to the welcome email that I actually created because I just want to show you that. And we're going to go to exit. That's the simplest way out. And so here we go. I've got my new subscriber and I think I can edit message. And again, it's going to walk me through that every time, which is fine. And let's see if it will show me. Okay, it will not. So I'm going to actually go back all the way. That's really all the way. Okay, to the dashboard and show messages and show manage autoresponders. Okay, and here's my start a consignment store. This is the one I actually made. So I'm going to click on it. And again, it's going to walk me through like I was creating it, even though I'm not. And I'm going to click Edit Message. You can see it will show me that. So we can wait a moment while it loads. And okay, here it is. So it says, welcome to our website names, email list. Here's a friendly welcome message. Here's instructions on, you know, tell them about what they should expect, what sort of things you write about, what could be sort of helpful. If you know they're interested in specific things, it's very interesting to say, Oh, look at that. That's a typo. <laughs> to put in subjects that you know they're interested in, like I've done some research and so I know people want to know about licenses to start their store. They want to know about how to deal with consigners. So use your market research and put that into this little paragraph here. There's my link to download the lead magnet and I've got here the three most popular articles with their associated pictures, the title, the first sentence of the article. If you have written the uh, meta description tags, so you've got a nice and concise description of those articles, you would probably use that rather than just the first sentence. And then I specified the link where people could go to so they'd be brought directly to that article. And that's my welcome email. When I click next step, it's automatically saved. And you can see I've got the name autoresponders welcome and I'm going to click save and publish. And there it is. This is the calendar view so that they show you for the autoresponders. If you had a series of them, this would be really excellent. It's a beautiful visual way to handle autoresponders. And you could certainly add more than one autoresponder to your welcome series. And actually, that's what they're called. It's like a welcome series or an autoresponder series. E-commerce stores will often do that. It's not uncommon for consultants to have a welcome series. Affiliate marketers could absolutely do it as well. And of course, if you're not necessarily signing people up for what you're specifically referring to as an email newsletter or signing people up for a course, this is where you would see all of the course messages. And so you can decide whether to send it every other day or every day, whatever suits you. There's a lot of talk with that and we'll help you with that later.
But for right now, we've created, we've customized our confirmation email. We've sent people to the right page to download that lead magnet. And we've created a very nice welcome email that would also bring them deeper into the site and help them engage more. And so I think what I might do is, I suggest you do is, go through all of these steps and then enter, go back to your site and enter your name and email address where you'll be getting uh, the signups. Anyone that hasn't signed up yet, you can just go through the whole process so you can make sure that everything is working and you can see it as a whole. You're seeing it in pieces right now and I think to go through it as a whole will give you a nice idea of exactly how cool what you've just done is. So in the next tutorial, you're going to be doing an opt-in box for your Facebook page, which is much simpler than you might think. And I'm going to go ahead and let you go and get your pages set up according to what we just did. Thank you so much. Goodbye for now. Are you ready to enjoy the full Get Response list building program and grow your list by up to 10,000 subscribers in 90 days? If so, just visit our website or log into your existing Get Response account or start a 30-day free trial.